Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one. Identifying the outer parts of animals found at home or in the community. Do you have pets at home like dogs, cats, or birds? Have you noticed their eyes, ears, skin fur, wings? Big tails or claws. These are called the outer parts of animals, and they help the animals in many ways, such as moving, eating, protecting themselves, and sensing their surroundings. Today, we will learn more about the outer body parts of animals around us, both at home and in your community. Examples of outer parts of animals and their uses. Dog, ears for hearing, nose for smelling. Eyes for seeing. Fur protects the body. Tail shows feelings and helps with their balance. Cat. Claws for climbing and catching prey. Fur keeps them warm. Eyes can see even in the dark. Whiskers help sense objects nearby. Chicken, big, for eating food. Feet with claws for scratching the ground. Feathers for keeping warm and helping them fly short distances. Wings for flapping and balance. Fish, fin for swimming. Gills for breathing in water. Tail for moving forward. Scales protect the body. Carabao, tail drives fly away. Skin, thick. Protects from heat. Horn for protection. Hooves for walking on rough ground. Let's try this. Name the body parts of an animal. Animals have different outer body parts such as eyes, ears, nose, skin, fur, beak, wings, claws, scales, and tails. These body parts are important because they help animals move, eat, protect themselves, and survive in their surroundings. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Let's try this. Write the outer part of the animal being described. Let's try this. 
Draw an animal you see at home or in the community. Label at least three outer parts of its body. Always remember, the outer parts of animals are important for their survival. We should take care of animals because they are living things that also help humans in many ways. Welcome to our day two. Different types of feet and legs of animals and their role in movement and in gathering food. Have you noticed how animals move differently? The chicken scratches the ground with its claws. Dogs run fast with their strong legs. And fish don't have legs but fins. Each animal has feet and legs that are suited for their needs. Some are for walking, running, swimming, climbing, or even gathering food. Today, we will learn about the different types of feet and legs of animals and how they help them survive. Chicken has clawed feet used for scratching the ground to find food. Duck has webbed feet used for swimming in water. Horse has hooves, strong legs for running fast and carrying loads. Cat has padded feet with claws for climbing, catching prey, and walking silently. Eagle has talons, strong claws for catching and carrying prey. Monkey has gripping hands and feet for climbing and holding food. Animals have different types of feet and legs depending on their needs. This helps them to move, find food, protect themselves, and survive. Some animals are webbed feet, hooves, Claws, talons, and padded feet. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Let's try this. Match column A with column B. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which animal uses hooves to walk and carry heavy loads? The webbed feet of a duck are used for... A cat uses its padded feet and claws four. The talons of an eagle help it to. Which animal uses claws to scratch the soil for food? Always remember the feet and legs of animals are special because they are designed to help each animal live in its environment. We must take care of animals because each one is unique and important. Welcome to our day three. Animals' mouth parts and their role in gathering food. 
Have you ever noticed how different animals eat their food? Cows chew grass. Butterflies sip nectar. Chicken peck grains, and dogs bite meat. Each animal has a special kind of mouth part suited for the food it eats. Today, we will learn about the different mouth parts of animals and their role in gathering food. Cow carabao, mouth parts, flat teeth for chewing grass and plants. Roll for eating and grinding plants. They are herbivores. Dog cat, mouth parts. Sharp teeth for tearing meat. Roll for biting, chewing, and eating meat. Chicken. Mouth parts. Big for pecking grains and seeds. Roll for gathering small food on the ground. Butterfly, mouth parts, long proboscis, tube-like tongue. Roll for sipping nectar from flowers. Mosquito, mouth parts, piercing mouth part. Roll for piercing skin and sucking blood. Dock, mouth parts, flat, big. Roll for filtering small plants and insects in the water. Animals have different mouth parts depending on the kind of food they eat. These mouth parts help them chew. Bite, tear, peck, sip, or pierce to survive. Examples, flat teeth, sharp teeth, big, proboscis, piercing mouth part. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. The butterfly uses its proboscis to... Which animal uses sharp teeth to eat meat? Chicken gather food on the ground using their... The mosquito's mouth part is for... Which animal uses flat teeth to grind grass? Let's try this. Match column A with column B. Always remember, the mouth parts of animals are specially designed to match the food they eat. Each animal is unique and its body is perfectly suited for survival in its environment. Welcome to our day four, wings of animals and their role in movement and in gathering food. Have you ever watched a butterfly flying from one flower to another or seen an eagle soaring high in the sky or a bat flying at night? All these animals have wings that help them move, find food, and survive. 
Today, we will learn about the different animals with wings and their important roles in their lives. Butterfly Wings Colorful Light wings Roll Helps it fly from flower to flower to sip nectar. Eagle Wings Large, strong wings Roll Helps it soar high, hunt, and catch prey. Bat Wings Thin, skin-like wings Roll Helps it fly at night to look for fruits or insects. B. Wings, small, thin wings. Roll. Helps it fly from flower to flower to gather nectar and pollen. Dock. Wings, strong wings, also used for flying short distances and helping in swimming. Roll. Helps it move to look for food like fish, snails, or plants. Animals with wings use them for flying, moving, and gathering food. Wings are important because they help animals survive by finding food and escaping danger. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. The butterfly's wings help it to which animal uses strong wings to soar high in the sky? The bat's wings are different because they are made of... Bees use their wings too. Which animal uses its wings to both fly and swim? Let's try this. Match column A with column B. Always remember, wings are special body parts that allow animals to move and find food. Without wings, butterflies cannot reach flowers, eagles cannot hunt, and bees cannot gather nectar. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.